All right, what's up, guys? Welcome back. Stop Talk and Roll, episode 59. I have a special guest today. What's up, guys? I got Dean with me. He's on the screen. He's he's here in real life. He's in two places at once. It's amazing. I'm fast. Yeah. Um, yeah, so uh, Dean and I had a round a few weeks ago where Dean uh, mauls me, and I was like, I want Dean to be here to help explain what he's thinking. I thought this would be kind of cool. Um, if you guys like it, let me know. Leave a comment in the in the. Uh, comments that's where you leave one and uh you know let me know if this is something worthwhile i'd love to get some other people on here too um cool to get i guess we're gonna get both sides of the what we're thinking while we're rolling yeah thanks for having me yeah no problem um and as a, a reminder as always if you happen to like the episode if you like the channel please give a like subscribe to the channel ring that like, notification comment, bell. Subscribe. there we go there we go i get these episodes out every morning 8 a.m eastern standard mm -hmm. time Monday through Saturday, um, and I'd love to review one of your rounds. So um, if you're interested in uh, having me review one of your rounds, just get in touch with me um, in the dis oh, the camera's over here now. Description description below there. There you go. Got some information there, or just message me on here and we can figure something out. All right. Without further ado, uh, you good? Let's do it. To go. Let's All go. right. So here we go. So Dean, Dean, you're in the Running Man. Yeah, I, I remember this round. I, I wanted to start in the Running Man just. Having fun. We just had Preet Mickelson at uh, Greenwich Jiu Jitsu, so yeah, I like a lot of his concepts. S side note: uh, I have a dual monitor set up, so Dean is looking at my middle monitor, and, which is where like the recording is happening, and then I'm looking at the live monitor. So if we're both like, <laughs> that's that's why. All right. So I know you're doing Running Man, and I'm coming in trying to get into that space, into your uh, elbow knee space. That's kind of my thought here. Um, trying to pry that open. You're just chilling. Just having a good time. Yeah. I look so stupid. <laughs> if you have a yeah, just jump in it whenever. I just kind of like let this go. So like, what I'm what I'm thinking right here is it, first of all, Dean is really really good at maintaining his elbow to his hip, which yeah, which limits my ability to get in between that that elbow to knee space that we've been talking about a bunch. And that elbow and knee space allows us to control our opponent, submissions, positions, etc. So I'm trying to dig under there. And then, like, you know, Dean's kind of letting me get past. Obviously, he didn't defend the guard at all. Um, so he's trying to, to you know, he's, he's letting me get past here and kind of playing from here. My main goals are to get into that space and trap his head right now, uh, control his head. If I can't, I look to go to north-south. Um, do you have any? Yeah, I agree. I, I think something I definitely harp on especially like to, to newer people, is that as a prerequisite for any guard pass, any submission, any way for someone to get control on you, they need to separate this space and get inside here. You know, if you want to arm bar me, if I'm able to get my my elbow to my ribs, you know, I'm, I'm good. Kimura, I'm good. Dars, I'm good. Anaconda, anything. Cool. Yeah. So that's just what I'm doing here. My elbow's tight to my ribs and... Even though you're inside control, you don't have anything yet. Yeah, we can't. Not the best angle for it, but yeah. So like his elbow right there. It's I mean it's 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 glued to his yeah. body, you know. So it's it's difficult. Like I'm trying to dig in with both my knees, with my elbows, with my hip. Really frus frustrating deal. Yeah. It was more frustrating initially. Then it's kind of just like, all right, this is this is jujitsu, right? Like yeah. you're just gonna have to deal with it. And from here, and now as an as a escape, what I'll do a lot of times is I'll see that that far side arm. I'll just do a, a arm bar attack. I think that's what I do here. I try to attack that far side arm with an arm bar, and then for them to escape that arm bar, they have to posture up, and then there's no more side control. Mm. Yeah, and you're like out right now. It feels so. I while I have side control, I'm gonna turn the mic down just a hair because I. Okay, while I have side control, I like. And it looks like I have a good side control. I don't feel comfortable right here. Like his elbows are just primed to to lift me off of him, essentially, or like a big bridge um, at any moment. So like this does not feel comfortable. Like I do not feel settled on Dean by any means. What I am trying to do though is is be very tight on his hip. So trying to limit his ability to turn. So while I don't have great control of his upper body, I do have the ability that if Dean were to turtle or turn into me in any way, I can slide my elbow right behind his back or my knee right on, or behind his back either way and kind of keep him wedged in there. And Dean's not going to do that. but So I think at some point I'm able to get under your elbow and then you just bounce. Yeah, I think that's... 
Yeah, so that's the arm bar I'm talking that, about. Yeah, I yeah. always try to do that, and it's not a super good attack, but if you don't respect it, then you'll get caught with it, but when you do respect it, you give up side control. One of the things I like to do in your position, actually, is the good old reverse triangle. Yeah, I know. <laughs> so you throw this leg over, and when this guy retracts this arm out, you follow with this foot, mm -hmm. and uh, and you and um, you throw him in the reverse triangle. But I, I I think in this case your head was too high. Oh, I'm not gonna let you do that. Yeah. <laughs> like like let's be real though. If I caught you in the reverse triangle, I think you would have to kill yourself. I think somebody somebody did did uh, catch me in that. All right. So now my goal is to get over your knees, but you don't let me. And then I stand up, and you stand up, and at this point. I just want to let you know what was running. I think I started laughing. Yeah. At this point, I, I, my, my legs all jacked up still. Nick's crippled. Yeah. And I'm like, oh, it's going to be this kind of role. Because you don't usually do this. You usually yeah. like we engage in guard. Uh, and then uh, once you stood up, I was like, oh, great. So the next sequence of events. Uh, <laughs> the I'm next. I've been trying to do more top control just because like, like I, I enjoy guard, but I want to yeah. be a well-rounded person. Well, right. And I, and I, I, I was like, I'm excited to start wrestling more but like I, I cannot with my leg right this so I was laughing and then you immediately pass over my broken leg I appreciate that Try my hardest. <laughs> and then from here you absolutely wipe the floor with me so win by any means yeah yeah so um, just some key things that you're doing here that are really good um, first of all it's kind of hard to see but what I'm trying to do the same thing that Dean was trying to do or was successfully doing before is eliminating that elbow knee space Problem is he's under my elbow right now. Like he has my elbow hoisted up, so there's no way I can really clear that space. So the next best thing I'm trying to do is get my knee behind his elbow to either drive it up over my elbow so I can free my own elbow, or looking to pin it in place so I can retract my elbow. Yeah, and also if it, whenever I try to take somebody's back as a prerequisite to that, I try to get the Kimura gift wrap, right? And that means that I can rotate around them when they can't rotate. Yeah. Yeah. So the, yeah. So if we get a better angle, that's I, that's what I'm trying to. It's, you can kind of see it right here if you think like his elbow and his arms right here. I'm trying to get my knee behind this spot right here because you have me in the, the figure four lock, and I'm trying to use that to just if I could just pop my elbow out, then I can turn into you and I'm out. Yeah. So then I grab your wrist around your head and then grab my own wrist with the the near side. Yeah. Um, and and you've and you've taken up this space so I can no longer do that. So now I'm assuming. Then I go to technical mount, hip hip, butt cheek on the other side. Yeah, that's good. And then what I, what I try to do from here is, I, I fall to the underhook side and then I do straight jacket. So my, my goal from the straight jacket system is, if I can, I want to trap the, the top arm. And then usually I need a grip on that top arm with my underhook. But I think it might have just been out there and I was like, I was just quick enough just to catch it. Mm. And then I cement it with my other arm. Oh, sorry, I cemented it with my other leg. Yeah. Nice. And now from here, I, I should be looking to get a body triangle on the other side, but you're you're quick enough to get your arm free. Yeah, and you keep... Yeah. Do, you end, do you end up not... You end up catching it, no? I, yeah, you do. I think you end up I'm, catching it. I'm not sure if I'm able to keep it, though. You definitely get a body triangle. I just don't remember if it's the arm in or not. Oh, you must... Yeah, I was going to say, because I survived for a while. There's no way I'd survive for that long with, with one arm. Yeah. So Dean's body triangle is a pain to get out of. Thanks. Because um, I know what to do, and I, I just couldn't do it. I. Yeah, no, like, my, my hurt leg's on the bottom. Like, I really don't have much of an excuse here. Um, so let's back up. Hold on. There's a few things. So I'm like, wincing. <laughs> um, so I am... I have a hair in my mouth, so I'm licking you. I'm licking myself. There you go. See, a little lick. Some people are into that. Yeah, yeah. Um... Why am I not defending my neck? I am defending my neck. What am I doing? That hand's defending the choke. I think what mm -hmm. I should have done is I should have moved my right arm down. All right, so you can have two kinds of grips, really, like a direct grip or an indirect grip. When somebody grabs you, you have an indirect grip. Even though they're attached to you and they're controlling you, you're controlling them so long as they allow you to, right? So like, just because I'm the one holding on doesn't mean that I'm in control of the situation. If the other mm. person moves their arm, their the other person's mo arm moves too. It's just they decide when to let go. So with my bottom arm, what I really should have done with my underhook is move down and try to trap that arm again, even though Nick was the one who was holding on to me. You're yeah. holding on, to, on for, for, for a while and I should have taken advantage of that yeah. because now I have 
I have double cross scripts, which is what you want. Just both of them are indirect. Yeah. Yeah, I, I think I was just trying to survive up here. So you'll see, for, we were in here for this for a while. I'm just trying to survive up here. And what I'm trying to do, and I, I do not do this. I, he, he ends up finishing, spoiler, he ends up finishing me. Um, spoiler. spoiler. Uh, but I'm trying to get this leg basically straight underneath his foot, get my knee underneath his foot, and then pry it back down. And I, and I cannot do it. I think what helps me in this situation, because I know me and, me and Tom are just doing a lot of... Um, back escapes is if you can get closer to a four point not a complete four point but mm. if you turn your hips so that your hips are more parallel with the floor like face, so, facing so the other way we're rotating down like yeah. this or, yeah yeah now you give your top hip more mobility and it's easier to beat that top hook mm. okay all right so then you'd you'd swing out from the so you'd, you'd turn over and swing this leg out yeah from that position okay cool that's really good thank you that's right yeah yeah That'd actually be good too because you don't have double unders. So you could potentially even fall off there. Mm -hmm. Even yeah. though, I mean, with the body triangle, it's still pretty strong. But like, if I were to turtle, I mean, I'm sorry. Well, yeah, essentially, if I were to four point and keep my elbows in, like, if I, I mean, obviously, I'd bring this one in. And then if I brought this one in and hit it underneath this, you would then be overhooking both yeah. sides, which would be, which you could potentially get the rear naked choke. Yeah. But. But like if if you're four pointed, then my my only options are to switch to a power half or double unders or fall off. Yeah. So I can't be tricking you. So right here, just kind of survival stuff. It's listen. I'm in a rear naked choke. Like it's not a good situation. But what I'm trying to do is turn my head, look towards the choke, get my kind of my face in there. It does not stop the choke by any means, but it will buy you a little bit of time. Um, and in stopping him from being able to rotationally crank my face, um, is is gonna buy me more time. Um. But this is tight, yeah. So you you end up getting this like back there, and now I, yeah. Look, I'm 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 hunting with this foot. I don't know if you saw that. So I'm trying to like this foot's very low. Like I cannot get my hip underneath. I can't I can't like scoop under right now. So I'm trying to bring this foot to assist, and I cannot I cannot hook your foot. Yeah. So something that that I try to do a lot is there's really two foot positionings with that top top leg, right? For for me. I could have my foot attached to your butt, or I could have my foot attached to the back of your knee. When my foot is attached to the back of your knee, I have a better ability to turn you onto your side, right? Because I can actually really, like I have a hook to control you and turn you over. When, I, when my foot is attached to your hip, now you can't catch me, right? So I try to, when I'm defending back, I try to make it so that I force their foot positioning to be behind my knee because they're forced to, to push me over one direction. And then I'll use my bottom hook to go under theirs, right? Catch it. And then I'll use that to bring my top leg behind that top uh, leg in their body triangle. So you'll, so, so just correct me. So you'll, you'll turn this way. To so I'll, I'll turn any way that they don't, they, I'll turn... Yeah, that, I'll turn that way. Yeah. Right? Yeah, you're right. I'll turn that way, and then... You have to use this foot behind my knee yeah. to then send me back this way. Yeah. But during that transition, that's where I would look to catch with the other foot and then dip the hip under. Yeah, yeah. and then if they don't do that, then you end up with a... They end up with a wrong side body triangle. Yeah, because ideal... Just just in case you're, you're like unsure what we're talking about, what my goal in this position is to get his leg... So his, his triangle set up like this, right? I want to get his triangle first to the inside of my legs, and then ideally, like a like a like a very bad guard across my across my hip. And then at that point, well, you still have the rear naked choke that I have to deal with. But yeah. if if there was not rear naked choke in place, it would just mean be me turning. But even with the rear naked choke in place, um, once once I get to that position, I can actually like start like right now. I'm surviving up top, and I have to fight the, the body triangle. Like if I can't beat the body triangle, there's no way I'm beating the rear naked choke. Mm -hmm. If I could beat the body triangle, I have a chance to beat the rear naked choke, but it's still yeah. a significant uphill battle. And something else I do is, like, I used to get the rear naked choke and then squeeze the life out of it and just try to <laughs> try to kill the guy. But what that really is doing is that's setting a timer for yourself. Whenever you're you're squeezing in a choke, whether it's a Dars rear naked choke, whatever it is, if you're squeezing, you can only squeeze for so long, right? Your goal is not to squeeze. Like, if you have a rear naked choke, like if I come here right and i'm like squeezing this right that's not really like if I, I squeeze my biceps it's not really closing the distance maybe a little bit because i'm flexing but it, it's not really like 
eliminating the space here, which is what would choke somebody. So I slap it on and I don't, I don't squeeze. I don't set a timer for myself, right? It's going to be the retraction of this elbow that's going to finish somebody. So what I do is I'll, I'll set this up and I'll just, I'll, I'll really just wait a little bit because like the person that's getting choked is freaking out, right? There's no reason that I have to freak out with them. You know what I mean? I mean, you're not freaking out. You know, you, no, no, you're, no, you're no. good. But like, like I sh I shouldn't set a timer for myself. I'm good here, and I should I should be very patient. I think in a rear naked choke. Mm. Yeah, D uh, so offensively and defensively, yeah. like I it, it's it's there's no point of me freaking out here. Like you got me, you got me dead to rights, right? So and the only chance I do have of getting out is being patient and taking my time. Like if I were to get out, I was doing the right things. But I, at the end of the day, I'm in a rear naked choke. Like yeah. <laughs> probably not gonna get out. You know, especially when you have all this stuff like locked in and doing it correctly. And it gets tight. Like, I, I mean, you can see my face. Like, I'm wincing a few times. So again, I'm desperately trying. Yeah, so I, I mean, I really don't. I don't I don't really progress here at all. I'm trying to, to get this up foot under. I'm trying to dig this foot under. It's just not happening. But we are here for a while, so... Yeah, like your yeah, like my face. Yeah. You try to apply a choke there. It's like you, you could do the, the face choke, but yeah, it, it takes a little bit more power than just under the chin and you have to rotate my face. It's, it's yeah, it's yeah. it's tough to get a face choke too because like like you, you need a little bit of strength into it, and if you try to do that, you could you could really try to like you set a timer for yourself. You yeah, know, you, you're, you you can't do that forever. You can't yeah, just like yeah. So yeah, that you end up. If you notice what finally gets me there, like I'm good, I'm good, I'm good, and then finally you get right under my neck, and that's at that point no more. That's the advantage of being bony. Yeah, that you can kind of <laughs> just piano wire under the neck. Yeah, that's good. All right, so I get to play guard now. I think you just shit on it real quick. Yeah, and then I this is backside reap. This is saddle from the start from the yeah, top I think it's backside saddle yeah backside saddle oh my god so yeah I just don't respond in time shout out Sophia Casella there you go yeah no just don't respond in time uh, what I need to do there is when you start coming over oh do you have my second leg trapped uh, I have not control of my wrist but uh, I think I just went for the uh... oh you have the other leg yeah so my 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 wrist was on my, my hand was on your ankle. Yeah. But let go. Of, so I should be rotating. If you're going this way. I should be rotating. Depends if I have have my yeah. hands locked. If I have my hands locked yet. Yeah, because yeah, you can't really tell. So you just slip on the heel. Yeah, like that's that's. Oh no! I could probably still get out. But then once you get that, that's yeah, happening. And that's tough too, because like with, with an injured leg, either it's your injured leg that's getting attacked and you need to be extra careful, right? Or it's your injured leg that's your secondary leg, and you need that you need that to be good to to, to escape. So. Well, it's it's like I mean that that that's that turning escape. Either either if I'm using a wedge or I'm using the turning escape. If it's the turning escape, I I I you have to be able to like whip it around, like like to yeah. retract it and then whip it, and like that's not happening. Yeah. And then with a, with an injured leg, you need to yeah. do that. Or on the other hand, it's your injured leg getting attacked. Yeah. So if if one of your legs are compromised, it's it's a tough situation. You're being very nice though. That was that, like you're you're still doing this stuff really well. I just I like I, the, the no, but one. If, if you do notice, all of the entries that I'm getting it are like are, are like based on <laughs> like attacking a crippled person, <laughs> which is what I try to do. I go into the hospital and I just look for the weakest people. And just yeah. Like, that's like that is my like. Oh, I got I got that one out. That was yeah. So it's it's my right side leg. So what I'm doing here is, I don't even know. What am I? Yeah, shin to shin. Oh, you got in on me. Yeah, and I can't. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. So like, what I that's that's my injured leg. So I don't even want to like risk like pulling it out. But you already have. Uh, do you not have it yet? I, I guess I still. It. I think I have it. You still have it. Yeah, you got it. So I would want to do it back. And also, what I try to do. So if you look at that that grip on your knee, I'm I'm. I'm trying to get the back step, and I set I set it up by getting my feet to the inside, right? So I, I step a foot to the inside, and I'm gonna swing my back leg behind his thigh, or like in front That's of it. A great from, setup from whatever uh, 
from whatever perspective you're at. But yeah. basically, I'm here. My hand is at his knee, so he can't retract his own knee back to his chest. Right, so I'm opening up that space, and then I'm replacing it with my knee. Yeah. When I come back. And what I'd want to do is scoot on a hip, and and like basically, I'd have to beat you to the punch yeah. and throw my my weight to the floor, which. I cannot do because my other sorry my other leg's the injured leg so I I cannot uh, rotate that way very quickly, <laughs> but yeah it's good, and then retract back, yeah you got it. We gotta get another round in. Get another round in. <laughs> That's the other thing too. I can't I can't stop that either. But this is good. You get me on my back. That's good. That's a tough one. It's good. We're making excuses. No more excuses. Let's go. I'm on the mat. I think I sweep the shit out I'm, of here. I've been working my smash pass, but it's it's still tough to do. Yeah. Do you have me again with it? Yeah, See, I, I I should be I should be very <laughs> used to that because like look at look at how long that you have you have your grips and I don't respond to them. That's yeah. Not okay. Yeah. Watch. So, at whatever second, where's the seconds? Uh, we have four. We have four forty over here. Well, you've been you've already been holding it for that right, two so seconds. Here, I'll keep it. I'll keep it up. I just gonna move my mouse. I'll keep it up on the screen. So there, boom. You have the four, grips. Four thirty eight. Four thirty eight, and I'm not responding to the grips. No. Should that? And well, not only that, but sorry. What? Well, I mean, the thing is, you got in here. Like you, you're not. Do I butterfly see? Oh, I do. Mm, shit. I think that's. I think that's a mistake on my part. Yeah. Like, I, well, obviously because I got swept, but if you look, if you look at any like. Any, any uh, you know, order for a guard pass. Like, let's say I want to pass like single leg X. Say I want to pass Delahiva. I dismantle what my opponent has. I get rid of his grips, right? I strip the Delahiva hook off. I strip the the foot off my hip in single leg X, and then I pass. Don't pass when your opponent has the grips that he wants. Yeah. And that's the mistake that I make here, right? So I let him have grips like like literally his favorite grips because he he loves the butterfly butterfly sweep, the hook sweep from butterfly. I let him have that, and I don't strip them, and I get swept because I'm trying to pass when he has the grips that he wants. Mm -hmm. Huge mistake. Yeah, and you load yourself up. You like come in, you load the the legs up, and then boop. So yeah, just a couple things, guys. Just like details. I let him do it. That's why. <laughs> just a couple things, details. Like when I when I when I hit this sweep, um, it's not just the hand here. It's it's my whole it's my whole forearm. This drives me nuts. You see it like it's like backwards, know, right? Yeah. It's so annoying. Um I I use the God, I'm gonna use this hand. I use the forearm on 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 the side of the head here to drive them over. So I'm dipping his head down, right? So I, I have I have his head, I'm dipping his head down, and I'm also taking the hand and jamming it in. Yeah. Usually I do I should be able to post here, but with his with his arm controlling my elbow, I can't. Yeah. So and that's that's the whole hook sweep. Like yeah. that, that's like what the, it is in a nutshell. Yeah. yeah. Um what I usually like to do is I like to have a uh uh, an overhook, I prefer the overhook, but at the end of the day, whatever works to take away that post, is it's gonna work. And then take you over, and I think you heel hook me again. Oh, I tried Maybe to buy I'm actually, not, I'm actually not sure, I, I don't know if I remember this. Yeah, I don't remember this either. Yeah, I think you heel hook me again. Oh, I escaped finally. I escaped one leg lock, let's go. What God, I, I love that entry. What am I doing? What was I doing? What oh, was that the round? Yeah, that was is the that? round. Yeah, what was I? What was I doing? Why was I doing that? You kicked me know. off. I love this. So with, with my knee, I try to get people to come closer, so that like I that. Can, yeah. So like, so now I'm gonna straighten out my leg, mm. and then it's like whenever I see like whenever I'm attacking in butterfly guard, and somebody lifts up one of their knees, I start salivating. I start like, I start going, oh yeah, that's what I want. Cause I, I then I'm gonna thread my my foot through there, and then I'm, I'm holding on to his shin or like I guess his calf, because I want to pull that into my elbow knee space, and then wrap my leg around to go foot to hip. So like whatever whatever like orientation we end up in, fine. And then I just get a bite on his heel, but the time went off and I just abandoned it. I think I was out though. No. Like oh, I no keep... way, no way. <laughs> I'm just kidding. Right I here. Have no idea. I don't know what time to do it. You, you ain't got here no. you're out. Yeah, yeah. You ain't got no heel. And the, the bell didn't ring yet. We're still moving. And then the bell ring. We can turn on the volume, yeah. but there might be music that I might get copyrighted. Nah, you're good. Um, Don't worry about it. Let's. Yeah, that's cool. Hold on. Let's, let's break it down. So, so you're here. So you. How did you make me step? 
you you put you're pushing did me this way. So like, or did you just do that? No, you did. Look, you push me this way, so I must I'm counterbalancing. Mm -hmm. So you're sure, throwing you're sure. throwing me this way, and you you're trying to sweep me. I think. Yeah. Like you're you're. I trying was trying to, to come up with like ten little stand up sweep, where I just pretty much just come up and knock you over. I'm stopping you from arm dragging me. That's what I'm doing. Look, you have me in an arm drag. Right, you're you. That's that's an arm yeah, drag yeah. position, you're and right. I throw my leg up to stop you from getting to the outside of my leg, yeah. so it blocks your leg. All right, and then I don't even remember what I was doing. Yeah, that's right. Yeah, and arm then drag. yeah, and then you 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 straighten your leg, and then I I must be, yeah, I do the same shit. So I I I'm trying to get my heel to my butt, but you're doing a good job keeping that open. That's a beautiful dilemma. I think it's like you either get your your back taken, or yeah. you get to single leg X. But yeah, I guess I guess I was too loose with this and you got out. I don't. Uh, What's up, Shanice? Shanice. Oh, <laughs> Shanice. I was like, what? <laughs> um, yeah, I think. I mean, I think. We were just we were just training. Uh, we were just training at the gym and doing like K guard and stuff. So I'm just like my my mind's like K guard, but no, not not quite. Yeah, no, that's good. Guys, it might sound it might like look funny that we're breaking down like this little minute like position but it, I mean this is like this this matters oh you're stepping on my foot too so I wonder if I'm you're doing a few things here I wonder if I'm doing that I didn't that realize I was doing that yeah I some of this stuff is just like ingrained in me and I'll just like I'll just like do it but like I have to like like actually watch myself to be like what am I doing yeah now? it's cool well I mean I wonder I wonder if that's a, in, impacting it too because right so you step on my foot you're pinning it but you keep it keep it attached the whole time but that little hip out that you do like pretty much gets you out even if the timer didn't go off right here boom yeah yeah, yeah. that's huge i mean that's super important to just be doing that like at all times like just just like defensively right like my, my whole like my whole philosophy offense and defense 99 percent of the time the offensive guy is, is wanting to eliminate space and 99 percent of the time the defensive guy is trying to create space but i mean that's that kind of changes with legs like I know, like cross ashi is weird. Like the cross ashi, cross ashi inside heel hooks weird because you don't. It's kind of counterintuitive. Like if you think about an arm bar, you're trying to eliminate all space. Like you're trying to squeeze your knees together. Um, you're trying to bring your arm to your chest and then bring it off to the side. In cross ashi, like your legs are like open. Yeah. <laughs> you know, like it's it's such a weird. I don't know. So we, we maybe I maybe I have to rethink that like thought process when it comes to rolling. I and, think so, something that's really like significant about the the leg game is that the line between offense and defense is so much thinner and so much more blurred right so if you take the rest of the game like you take like say side control mount attacks back control attacks it's you have these offensive and these defensive cycles where oh somebody's on somebody's back and they're attacking for minutes at a time somebody's mounted on someone they're attacking for minutes at a time and then the other person may escape, and now they're attacking, right? So you have these, like, long periods of someone attacking, someone's clearly on offense, and someone's clearly on defense. And with, with legs, it's a lot less like that. It's like, okay, I could be attacking over the span of three seconds, two seconds later, Nick's attacking me, three seconds later, I'm attacking him, just because we're, we're both of our weapons are facing each other. That's not really... the the, the same I guess like in mount both of our weapons would be facing each other but like you can't really use your legs right but when you're in a leg entanglement the the ability to counter someone is so much closer right you're so, you're so much more able to to go on offense from a bad situation yeah yeah I'm even I'm like so and again we I was just talking again about K-Guard I wonder like if I'm able to pop this knee out right here Right, like if I'm able to, if I'm able to skate my knee out of the, out of the uh, knee line, out of the hip line. Yeah, so I, I was actually just looking at, uh, at I think it was, I think it was Lachlan's sub meta. If you do the turning escape from here, like imagine you were were to able uh, to to turning escape, and you get my right leg, over, your right leg in this scenario, right? You can move to fifty fifty. Yeah, yeah. Right? Move to fifty fifty, and then, in the turn. Right, you basically take the foot, the the what's your primary foot, the one that's that's being attacked right now, and step on my stomach. You could go right to ninety ten outside Senkaku, in the turning escape. I'm wondering, you just tell me I'm an idiot, but I'm You're wondering. Thanks. Uh, like if if so, say like 
say I'm able to, to free my like obviously you have a good bike, but like let's say I'm able to free my knee, so then I'm I'm safe for, yeah. for all intents and purposes from the heel hook. If you were to abandon the heel for whatever reason, or if I'm able to slip the heel and slide the leg down, that would be this this foot would hook here. Uh, but your leg's across. I'd have to get your leg over here. But that would be kind of like K-Guard. Just on... You see what I'm, you see what I'm saying? Yeah, I'm, like, trying, to, I'm trying to wrap my head around so it. You're, 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 well, the problem is the foot's this way. So I would have to... Yeah, you'd have to take my, my inside foot, yeah. my, my right leg, and put it to your left hip. Right, right, right. So that's not that wouldn't work exactly. When, whenever I leave a situation where I'm in, I'm in saddle or I'm in, uh, where I'm in a reap and I, and I, I spin out, I spin out basically like the turning escape is the escape for both of those situations. Yeah. I either look to go to some kind of counter leg lock entanglement because my my partner made the decision to to attach themselves to me. At, at some point that that becomes an asset as the defender. I either go to a counter leg lock entanglement or I go to a bolo, right? So like if if you were to go if you you were to let's say I didn't have the heel hook grip here and you were to mm. go to turning escape, turning escape you could take your right knee and put it in the pocket of my right hip in that in that entanglement mm -hmm. and go to like the wedge position and then move to the truck and then you're on the back cool 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 cool, cool, cool. all right well enough enough uh hypotheticals maybe we do like a video sometimes we do all that shit that'd be cool um well thanks for coming man i appreciate that, Thank you for I, having hope that me. I hope you enjoyed it i hope that was fun appreciate it. um uh, we got it we we need to do another round now um, that'll be fun. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Uh, I mean, not that not that we don't normally roll, but uh, <laughs> film. We film. don't normally film it. We don't know. This is our only one film, I think, because um, usually I just butterfly sweep them into the mirror and stuff. It's like no, it's not yeah. very close. Smashes match. my head into the brick wall. Yeah, it's usually like that's how we do it at Grand Jiu Jitsu. Uh, I'm just kidding. Team's really good. Um, guys, if you like the video, please like it. Please subscribe. Please ring that notification bell. Um, I would love to review your rounds. If you have some, please reach out to me. I'd I'd love to get them up here. And uh, any of the guys that um, that are on the channel that I roll with, or if, you, if I get around, if you're interested in doing this with me, um, it'd be great. Like just to again, it was really cool to like hear your thoughts and like what you're doing while we're rolling. Um, this is a blast. Yeah, fun times, good, and I'm glad you enjoyed it. Uh, I, I here's the test now. I hope the mics worked because uh, I don't have my headphones on. Testing. Okay, we're good. All right, good. cool. All right, good work. Thank you. Thanks, guys. Thank you, guys.